National Community Bears Natural Resources Management, CBRNM, held a conference in Lusaka from 4th to 7th December 2019. The conference attracted 23 traditional leaders, 124 representatives from community conservation trusts. The conference humbly requests an urgent paradigm shift in the implementation of the CBRNM in the country through an urgent payment of the 2016-2019 arrears owed by government for hunting license fees and hunting area concession fees by 1st May 2020 latest and if funds owed are not paid in full, no safari hunting will be allowed across the country in 2020. Isaac Banda, a CBRNM national coordinator, says the community's demand is that within five years, government moves a policy where the community, who are the landowners, retain 100% of revenue from the sustainable use of wildlife and natural resources on communal land. Is that within five years, the government moves to a policy where the community, as owners of the land, retain 100% of the revenues from the sustainable use of wildlife and natural resources on communal land. Be depending on the negotiations and the need of both government communities to develop a gradual phasing out of sharing revenues as follows. Option one, grant communities 100% of hunting area concession fees and hunting license fees from the 2020 hunting season. This would include all revenues from the trophy, resident and bona fide license fees. This money to be, to be paid directly by safari outfitters to the beneficiary communities, actions to develop compliance guidelines for monitoring purposes, also agree on sanctions for bad behavior. Uh, bad behavior, bad governance, and misuse of funds. Speaking during a media briefing in Lusaka, Dr. Rogers Bobilod, a chairperson for Zambia Cybram Farm, says wildlife and conservation is paramount and there is need for communities to benefit from it. So our call and our challenge is to the Minister of Tourism and National Parks to make Lower Zambezi an economic viable entity that should benefit the local people around that park. If that doesn't happen, then we're going to have this, 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 this drama where people want to commit. Mining in the park would destroy the habitat, would destroy the ecological integrity of that park. That's the truth. But you see, the welfare of the people matters. So I think what I'm simply saying is that we need to balance. We need to make sure that wildlife management and keeping the national park is more economically viable to the people of the park. Otherwise, I don't, I don't want to blame them for demanding to have the mine. But I think it's the damage that may be caused. I thought would give me as the position on which we are and the stance on which we want to engage the government. Um, just as the has said, we are presenting the majority of our rural communities. That is our interest. And these resources belong to all Zambians. And these are resources that we, are, we want to protect. Considering the results of the first African Wildlife Economic Summit hosted by African Union and United Nations Environmental Program in Victoria Falls, June 2019, President Ed Galungu committed to improve the rights of rural communities and to empower them to govern and manage natural resources. Blessed Nawachwawa, CBC News in Lusaka.